What shape is a black hole? Did the classic funnel of death just come to mind? Or was it the dark sphere surrounded by a glowing disk of matter and light as depicted in the movie Interstellar? Sure, that computer-generated image is a great example of what a supermassive black hole and its accretion disk would look like if we could get close enough. But if you're looking to definitively answer the question, what shape is a black hole, you're gonna have to think beyond the three dimensions that you're used to and consider an infinite number of shapes the human mind can't even picture. Many of us think of black holes as funnels, thanks to all the artists throughout history trying to depict what they do to the space and time around them. All that mass, compacted into such a small volume, deforms space-time. But space-time has more dimensions to it than we can depict on a textbook page. Everything has to get flattened out for the purpose of high school physics. A funnel represents the general idea that space-time gets more and more deformed the closer you get to a black hole's central singularity, where all the matter collects. So the shape of the black hole in these drawings isn't the funnel, it's a circle at a specific part of the funnel's throat. This circle represents the event horizon, the black hole's famous point of no return. Since we can't perceive anything beyond it, it's the closest thing we have to a physical edge or surface of the black hole. When we talk about a black hole's shape, we're talking about the shape of the event horizon. And if we unflatten a circle from its one-dimensional circumference, we get a two-dimensional surface area of a ball, which mathematicians call a sphere. So black holes are spherical, just like Interstellar showed us. I guess, question answered. We can all go home now. Thanks to our patrons. What? Not so fast. According to Stephen Hawking, a guy famous for trying to figure out this extreme astrophysical phenomenon, a black hole's event horizon doesn't have to be a sphere. It does, however, have to be topologically spherical. So what's a topological sphere? It's any shape you can turn into a sphere without changing the number of holes in it. So for example, if I have a hollow ball of clay and I drop it on the floor, it'll get flattened out a little bit. So not a sphere, but it's still a topological sphere. And so is any shape that I can make by just squishing a couple bits here and there like this heart. I mean, sure, nature's probably not gonna make a vaguely heart-shaped black hole, but the math shows that it's perfectly normal, if not typical, for black holes to be ellipsoidal. The physics get way wonkier when you get up close, but it's the same reason why the Earth isn't a perfect spherical ball. They're both spinning, which squishes the shape a little bit. But with all due respect to Hawking, his conception of these things might not be complete. His math is only valid for 3D space, and our universe might not have just three spatial dimensions. In 2000, in 2002, two scientists proved that if space is 4D, a black hole spinning at just the right speed can uphold the known laws of physics while looking like a higher dimensional donut. And okay, fine, they don't call it a donut, they call the structure a black ring. And if we break out the clay again, you can see how a donut and a ball have two different topologies. I mean, I can't turn this sphere into a donut without, like, tearing it a new one. Now, thanks to the Event Horizon Telescope, we have seen black hole donut-looking shapes in the real world. But these are created by the light surrounding the black hole. The dark central blob is the shadow cast by the Event Horizon. We've yet to observe a black hole that is itself donut-shaped. But if we do, it could mean a fourth spatial dimension has been hiding under our noses all this time. Now, as delicious as a black hole donut might be to ponder, or as good as one might look on a mug, DFTBA com slash scishow, there's another topology that could be out there as well. A topology that's so difficult to picture that scientists simply choose not to. They just stick to the math of it all. In 2006, researchers proposed that in a universe with four spatial dimensions, a black hole's event horizon could be a lens space. But okay, now it sounds like they're just making things up, so what the heck is that? Well, lens spaces are sometimes described as folded up spheres, and after spheres, they're the next simplest topology out there. To understand the general concept, we're gonna drop all the way down to 1D. Now, it's technically not one-dimensional, but we can visualize what we're about to do with a hair tie. Lens spaces use rotations to tie two or more points on the shape together. So we're gonna do the simplest version of that, a rotation that's half the circle, 180 degrees. For the visual, we've marked a few different sets of points that are 180 degrees apart, so exactly on opposite sides of one another. Technically, there are an infinite number of points on this circle circle, but I've only got so many colors, so this will have to do. Now, if I make exactly one twist in this hair tie, I can make these points line up on top of one another. And ta-da! We've done it! In a real lens space, these would occupy the exact same point in space. The circle would be collapsed to exactly half its original size. But like everyone whose hair tie has gotten a bit stretched out and needs to start doing another twist to keep their ponytail intact, 
we don't have to stop there. So we'll twist it once and then twist it again. And there you have a completely different lens space. This ties three points together and makes the circle one third its original size. And with a big enough hair tie, you could do basically any number of twists. Meanwhile, in 4D space, the event horizon of a black hole would be a three dimensional lens space. The folding is even more complicated, but the fundamental idea of rotations stays the same. And there are an infinite number of lens spaces you can create. Back in 2022, black hole lens spaces were proven as mathematically legit for not just 4D space, but 5D, 6D, literally as many Ds as you might need. In other words, there are an infinite number of shapes a black hole can be, no matter how many dimensions the universe has, so long as it's more than our current count. Now, it's worth mentioning that to support a black lens structure like this, the researchers had to introduce an exotic kind of matter that isn't accounted for in our current models of reality. So this is all incredibly hypothetical. As of right now, we've yet to observe any evidence of non-spherical black holes. And because we don't know how an extra dimension would interact with the ones we know and love, we can't really say what a black ring or a black lens would look like to us. But I am all for another blockbuster sci-fi movie to show us what could be possible. Thank you for checking out this brain bendy and hair tie bendy episode of SciShow. Head on over to patreon.com slash SciShow to check out all the ways you can support the channel and all the perks that we have to say thank you.